Nikki Haley had an interview with uh, Nora O'Donnell, and um, she also has a new book out, which is called With All Due Respect, and it was due out today, actually, on Tuesday. Do you think ultimately the president will be impeached and removed from office? No. On what? You're going to impeach a president for asking for a favor that didn't happen and and giving money and it wasn't withheld? I don't know what you would impeach him on. I mean, look, Nora, impeachment is like the death penalty for a public official. When you look at the transcript, there's nothing in that transcript that warrants the death penalty for the president. And I think that... To be clear, it was not a complete transcript. There are still things that are missing from it. And in that, he does say, I would like you to do us a favor, though. The Ukrainians never did the investigation. And the president released the funds. I mean, when you look at those, there's just nothing impeachable there. And more than that, I think the the biggest thing that bothers me is the American people should decide this. Why do we have a bunch of people in Congress making this decision? The reason why we have a bunch of people in Congress making this decision is because it's their job to make this decision. If there's impeachment proceedings, if if a president of the United States has done something uh, that is so egregious, then it is on Congress to act. It's on Congress to hold the president of the United States accountable. That's written into the Constitution, separation of powers. This is their role. So it's not on the people that have voted against or for Trump. It's not them at all. It is on Congress. This, um, she clearly is on the side of no impeachment and she made that clear. Um, but her rationale is very flawed. She said that, first of all, she was wrong. And of course, I know she's wrong, but she's trying to sell a lie, saying that um, really that the money wasn't withheld, which it was. She said that uh, the money ended up flowing to Ukraine and Ukraine didn't have to announce any investigations. And so that's where like th that's where this really falls apart. Um, that, that actually makes uh, Trump look worse here. It does. It, it does make him look worse because. If you withheld this money, and you remember, Trump is saying that, and Trump, not just Trump, but his defenders are saying that this is all appropriate. His actions are appropriate. What he did, seeking out corruption in Ukraine, seeking out corruption as it relates to the Bidens, that's all appropriate. He's the president of the United States. He can do that. Okay. So he's trying to get the Ukrainians to actually launch this investigation, investigation and see what actually happened. Nikki Haley said, though, that the money was in, ended up being released and the Ukrainians didn't have to announce any investigations. Now, if everything was on the up and up, then why did they release the funds? Why did they release the security assistance without anything being done on the Ukrainians end? If there was some if there was some investigations that needed to be commenced, like we they, they needed to actually start these investigations to actually root out this corruption and actually expose the bad guy that Joe Biden is and his son Hunter Biden is. If this is all real, then why did they let off? Why did they take their foot off the gas and say, oh, we're going to apply the break. We're just going to give them the money without doing anything on this front. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, you, you know, she's, you see what she's doing. She's trying to make this whole impeachment inquiry about the transcript. Because that's all she mentioned, right? Because mm -hmm. she's making it like, hey, there was no, that's not enough. That's not enough. She's acting as if we don't have testimony uh, from uh, a half or a dozen, uh -huh. a dozen individuals um, within Trump's administration. Right. Um, maybe uh, she should have been asked about Giuliani. Maybe she, she should, should have been asked about the secure server. Well, I'm sure she would have deflected. I'm sure that's not a question she wants. So it's not just about the t the, the the transcript or the the memo, really. Uh, so uh, Nikki Haley also had uh, another interview today on Tuesday, of course, because of the launch of her book. Uh, this time it was with uh, NBC News. Uh, it was on the Today Show. Public impeachment hearings began. You mentioned recently in an interview that you don't think the president's conduct with regard to Ukraine is impeachable. Have you made up your mind? You know, I have made up my mind. I mean, impeachment is literally the worst punishment you can do to a public official. And here you've got a situation where 
there was no investigation and the aid flowed as it was supposed to. So when you look at that situation, it's hard to see where impeachment would qualify for can, that. Can I stop you right there? Because that, I mean, with all due respect, to borrow a phrase, that doesn't seem like much of a defense of the president, that he might have tried to do those things, but it didn't work out. So it's all okay. I mean, impeachment is serious. It's the most serious thing you can do to a president. The other side of this is we are less than a year away from the election. Instead, let the people decide. Let them hear the testimony. That's fine, but let them decide. You, well, she just said, let them hear the testimony. Mm -hmm. So in order to hear the testimony, guess what has to be filed? Articles of impeachment. Mm -hmm. Or will you, well, not the actual article. Well, not, yeah, but you yeah. have to go through but the you have inquiry, to go through the in, inquiry. Impeachment inquiry. Imp imp impeachment inquiry. Right, right. So if she actually wanted the people to people to make an informed decision mm -hmm. she would be fine with this process but again mm -hmm. as you pointed out that's not how things get handled as mm -hmm. far as improprieties go it doesn't matter if they're the president the mayor the governor or senator or whoever that is not how that's not how you know the united states government uh deals with impropriety no that's it's the, not to put it in the people's hands and say, hey, well, you decide what happens. Well, you decide if what happens. If they break the law, hey, you, you decide what to do. Yeah, you that. decide what. That, no. that doesn't even make sense. Our just, system of government does not work like that. And here she's still saying, <laughs> she said, hey, the, the Ukrainians, there was no investigation and the money, the aid flowed as it was supposed to. No, it didn't. It was held up. It was held up for months. It was only, really, what seems to be the most probable reason for why the money ended up flowing to Ukraine on September 11th is because of the whistleblower because it was the end of August when Politico started reporting mm -hmm. reporting about this whole mess and so at that point hey it's a mess now and you uh, you remember uh, in September early September Sondland and Volker and uh, William Taylor they were talking on this on this text message and saying well taylor was saying hey this is crazy to hold up this money for a political campaign for basically, a re-election bid basically they got found out they got found out so they ended up flowing the money now this is the th this is the problem with this republican argument because again all of them say that this was appropriate everything was appropriate let the people decide but everything was appropriate he had done nothing that suggests that he should be impeached because it's the death penalty for a po politician. You know, that's, just, that's just way too far, right? Okay. So then don't do crimes. Don't do crimes, yes. But if everything was appropriate, as they suggest it is, everything was appropriate, the call was perfect, everything was fine, there was no bribery, there was no uh, you know, strong arming, none of that. No back channel. Then why did the money flow in the first place at all? It doesn't matter if a whistleblower is coming forward. These Republicans are trying to sell the idea that Trump was doing the right thing by seeking out corruption in Ukraine. So if he was doing the right thing, then shouldn't they be a little bit perturbed that he backed off of that? That he backed off of the fight to seek out and rid Ukraine of corruption? Wouldn't they be mad that, hey, well, hold on, you gave Ukraine the money and you didn't get what you wanted, what we all wanted. This is a real thing, right? An investigation into the Bidens is a real thing. Why are they not mad that President Trump said, ah, forget it, we're going to give you the money without you doing anything about it? If this was real, the Republicans would have a gripe, a significant gripe, because to them, they say that the Bidens are corrupt and an investigation needs to be started in them. They even want Hunter Biden to testify in this impeachment inquiry. So this is a real thing. At least they're selling it to be a real thing. Why are they not mad with President Trump for not going further? You know why. You know why they're not mad? Because they don't believe that Trump was actually going after corruption in general. He was uh, trying to strong arm the Ukrainian president. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to use uh, officials within his administration to strong arm uh, U Ukraine uh, to announce that Joe Biden was being investigated. That's all he wanted. Yep. It wasn't really about an actual investigation. It was, he wanted to orchestrate this whole thing in order to use as a kind of a, kind of a campaign ad. Yes. That's what he would have used it as. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, and here's the thing. Do we really think it would have begun and ended with Joe Biden? 
it wouldn't have. He would have used it as some sort of kind of uh, blanket campaign ad with whoever he uh, ultimately would be against um, when those that when the time comes, mm -hmm. you know, who whoever wins the Democratic nomination. Right. He would have used it against them too, because essentially it's the same party. It mm -hmm. didn't matter whether it was Joe Biden or who whoever. Right. He was just going to use it as a campaign ad against the Democratic nominee.